As people continue to catch the virus, University of Utah researchers have made critical discoveries on how it spreads. Yeah, their findings just published today. New specialist Jed Bull join us live now with details. Jed, what do you know? Yeah, Mike, early in the pandemic, we worried a lot about the spread of the virus from surfaces. If I touch a contaminated doorknob or drinking glass and then touch my face, am I going to get sick? Research led by Dr. Jessica Kramer shows the most the virus spreads most effectively from direct contact from person to person and not from surfaces. We've been researching mucus um, in, in my lab and in, in my training labs for almost 10 years. Dr. Jessica Kramer, a biomedical engineer, says the pandemic has motivated her team. So early in the pandemic, they started testing how well the coronavirus spreads in mucus and saliva. We found that mucus and saliva contain proteins that inhibit the infection of coronavirus. And the effect was stronger when the mucus and virus dry together on a surface. They tested viral transmission on plastic, metal, glass, surgical masks, and the effect was the same. When the virus dries in water, it's active and infects cells. When it dries with mucus or saliva, it is no longer active and it could not infect live cells. Kramer says this confirms what we've all witnessed. Direct transmission through uh, breathing uh, droplets um, from the air or direct contact such as touching and kissing are really the ways the virus spread and I think we have to worry a lot less about getting the virus from surfaces that we touch. She says it's still a good idea to practice good hygiene and wash your hands regularly. However, the major way that people will get the coronavirus is through direct contact with another infected person, such as touching or breathing the same air. We all have different levels of these protective proteins in our mucus and saliva based on genetics, diet, and environment. Some people will have mucus that is more or less protective against the virus.